Mark, congratulations. Three points today. That's probably the most important part from your point of view. You must be a happy man. Yeah, it, it clearly was, Rich. Listen, we talked about it. Enough said about it, really, at Wednesday's situation. It was more important, not so much the performance today, as getting a win. Getting the win on the board to calm, calm things down with people. And it, listen, it's clear anybody who's here watching the game, we're not, we're not flowing like we can. You know, in our passing movements and whatever, it's a bit fractious at times. So it was important that we made the right decisions on the day, that we did the right things, that we were professional. You know, getting the, a little bit of a scrappy goal, settle people down a little bit. You know, and at half time, saying to the lads, look, you know, you've got to be professional now, see the game out. I'm delighted, of course, again, with, with, with a, a clean sheet again. You know, defence was solid. Matt Miazga has been out for six weeks and came in, looked as if he'd never been away. Full credit to him and to the, the staff, you know, rehab staff behind him to get him that, that state coming in for his first game. So, yeah, t tonight now, yeah, we can, you know, I, I don't like going in the dressing room and screaming and shouting the players and banging heads together. So it's nice to go in after the game and say, you know, well done, lads. Well done. We've got the three points and we can move what I've been saying from the first day we walked in the club, mo hopefully move onwards and upwards now. and. and Put it to bed and, and concentrate on other things with a big game on Tuesday. Again, not, not a perfect performance, but everyone was fighting for each other, and that that's how you get three points sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, it makes it makes a difference of players doing running that extra yard for each other. I talked about them on Wednesday after the game of putting more demands on each other. You know, if somebody's somebody's I'm not in a good time. Yeah, you pick him up, but if somebody's a bit sloppy and not doing the right things, then you know, let him know it. Put demands on him. You can't just let let it happen and ignore it because. There's no, you know, play, play. I keep saying good players like playing under that little bit of pressure. It gives them that edge, and maybe we came away from that a little bit. But today, as I say, anybody watching the game, we weren't. It wasn't a, it wasn't a classic. We weren't free flowing, but we got the job done. And, and if you can do things, uh, win games like that, when, when maybe you're not playing 100 percent like you can, then it, it stands us in good stead. Two goals as well from from forward players. Yaku, uh, he just got a little touch on his, but but George now into double figures for the season too. Two players on double figures. So that's great, isn't it? Yeah, George is. Listen, George is a goal scorer. I've said all the time. You know, there'd be times when he's, he's and I've talked to him about it. So there's times when he's, he's a bit sloppy with his touch and whatever. But he thrives on um, good service, and he thrives on if the team are playing well behind him, creating chances for him. Then then all well and good. So we've got to, it's, we've got to marry those two together. Yes improve his all-round game, which we'll continue to do, and he will, because he's a good, honest player and, and, and lad as well, but the team as well, to improve, to give him the right opportunities to go and show his talents like he did today. And, and, and come to the final, whistle. and throughout the game, really, just a better atmosphere, top to bottom today, wasn't there today? It was a great atmosphere in the game. Yeah, I said Wednesday, Rich, that, you know, our fans come here, and rightly so, a few things are said in the crowd and the way they, they were Wednesday, I think I'd have been exactly the same. If I'd have paid good money to see what I saw Wednesday as a Reading fan, I'd have voiced my opinion as well. So, you know, hopefully it's, it's a, it's a one-off. It's the first time it's happened since I've been here. And because of what happened on the pitch, and we've got to continually try, I keep saying, since I've come in the door, continually try and take this club forward and, and get it away from where it's been over the last two or three years, you know, and, and, and make sure we, we've got something to build on it and we've got a, a chance of competing and pushing it for, for a, a chance of playing in the Premier League again soon. You've touched on it already, you know, moves on quickly football and we've got a huge game to look forward to on, on Tuesday. It's no underestimating this. this is a huge game in the context of our season. Yeah, it, listen, it takes a little bit of pressure off because, you know, we can, I like to think we can go and enjoy the game now. And again, maybe a lot, you know, a little less stress on the lads going into it, but it makes, you know, no less important. It's, you know, it's the magic of the cup in it and, and you can't, one thing you can't do in cup situations is you get too far ahead of yourself. But, you know, you do always have one eye and think, well, if we can get that one, then we're into those something finals, quarterfinals, semifinals, wherever it may be. So, But it's, it's such a big game because, listen, the whole country knows now what Sheffield, wins, Sheffield United produce and there won't be no different coming here to It's going to be a really hard game for us. As you say there, you know, this club has had, you know, in the recent history in particular, some really good times mm -hmm. in the FA Cup and it can really do good things for a football club, can't it? Yeah, yeah, it can. And like all the fans, I, I know different like that. It, it, you do as the season goes on. If you're still in the cup competitions, it, it gives everybody a boost as well. So I just hope, you know, we'll have, I know we'll have a good turnout Tuesday. I know we'll have good vocal support. And let's see, let's bring it on. Let's see what the game can produce. It'll be exciting, I know. And £10 tickets for adults as well. You know, there's no excuse for our fans. This is a game, I mean, it's a bit of a rallying cry, isn't it? It's getting in. Yeah, and, it, and it's going to, obviously, you know, the situation with the rules is going to be finished on the night. You know, it'll be, if it's a draw again after 90 minutes, it's extra time and then penalties. So, you know, somebody's going to come away with a big smile and hopefully assess on Tuesday night.